Welcome to the post game show presented by the Maroon Club. Every gift matters every year. Join the Maroon Club today. A tough day for the Lafayette Leopards as they lose this one 36 to 7 to 27. They're outscored in the second half uh, by 19 to 7. And uh, certainly turnovers hurt them. Certainly injuries hurt them. And they are gathered around their head coach right now. And Frank, I'm sure, is uh, talking a little bit about today, but talking perhaps already, Mike Joseph, about next week. Yeah, and I think that's what he's got to hang his hat on right now. They played hard today. They came out. They hadn't scored a point really in the first quarter in a, in a half a season, but they came back. But the turnovers really, really got them today. They they gave up two big plays, a lot of yardage to Carlton Kuntz. They did a pretty good job against the pass, except for a couple big plays by Wetzel. So, you know, Lafayette right now, they're going to be 5-5 five and five going into that game. They had off to a good part. You just wonder about their health going into the Lehigh Lafayette game. So Frank, uh, with a post-game conversation with his football team, as uh, no one feels worse than they do, and uh, Fordham will leave here feeling pretty good about themselves, although they have to take on the Patriot League champions next week as they'll play Colgate right here in the Bronx at 1 o'clock. So they have had a tough season. I mean, their four losses have been by three points, seven points, four points, and three points. And let's take a look at how all this unfolded today. Here's Mike Joseph. Here are the highlights. And Lafayette really kind of came out uh, really guns blazing right here. Zach Swice is going to go up top to Mark Ross, and that's kind of a thing we've seen all season long. Mark coming up a little gimpy right there. And Carlton Koontz gets them back in the game with a nice 63-yard run. He kind of hides behind those big offensive linemen. He's going to get chased down here by Kenai Scott, but that's going to set up a touchdown. At this point, Lafayette had a 10 nothing lead, and Carlton Koontz is going to punch this one in to cut that lead to 10-7. to So every time you thought Lafayette was going to bounce out and open that lead up, really the Fordham Rams came back. Lafayette with some good plays today, some trick plays. This one down the middle and a great first half, 13 for 18 for over 200 yards for the sophomore quarterback. Mike Duncan had a big day as well. Mike had uh, five catches for 124 yards. You see Ross Sherman get into the end zone. That made it uh, 20 to 17. And then, uh, you know, Ryan Higgins, he, he got some things going here. He hit a long pass down the sideline here to Wetzel, a blown coverage. Wetzel's going to go 89 yards for the touchdown. And at halftime, we were at 20 to 17. At that point, Lafayette's offense got a real, when it really went into a shell. And, you know, Fordham came out. They had a great plan in the second half. And, aided by some turnovers. This one just a bad throw. That one's going to go into Dixon on the corner, and that set up a touchdown right here. Ryan Higgins is going to pump this one into the back of the end zone right there. Again, that's Wetzel uh, against the zone coverage, and now they take the lead 24 to 20. And here's a throw. It really kind of broke the Leopards back. Jordan Chapman's going to jump in front of a slant pattern there on a third down and three. Read it well. He's going to take get that two-score lead. At this point, it was 30 to 31 to 20. Lafayette, they're down two. They got the ball down into the red zone. They elected to go for a fourth down. They didn't get it. They got the ball good three and out by their defense. The ball comes back to Lafayette on a punt. A throw down the middle here is intercepted by Brendan Melanoffi. He's going to take it down. And then Andrew Shoup, who played with a bad ankle, he's going to pump one in here. A good catch by Jamel Smith. His first touchdown catch as a Lafayette lever to one of many. And then Lafayette had two opportunities here with onside kicks. This one just dribbles into the hands of Nick Talbert. And that kind of sealed it right there. All right, we're going to throw it down to the field to John Leon, to head coach Frank Tavani, and our Coca-Cola players of the game. Thanks, fellas. Coach, you're playing a team with scholarship level talent. Your margin for error is so slim. You just couldn't overcome the three turnovers in the second half. Well, it's been the name of the game all year. Um, you win or lose a turnover battle. That's kind of, you know, the way it's taken us. But we, you know, we had our opportunities and. Uh, you know, just couldn't take advantage. And again, you got to credit them. They uh, they seem that they wanted it just a little bit more. You spent an awful lot of time with the group uh, on the opposite side of the field here. Coach, can you uh, share with us uh, the message? Well, the bottom line is obviously, hey, there's one game left and it'll be a huge mountain to climb. But uh, more importantly, we got to come together as a team. You know, the fact that I had to discipline four players for violation of curfew last evening and then, you know, do that and three of them are seniors. I mean, you know, it's just... Uh, that, that, those are problems, John, as you well know, and uh, that's not the way you get things done. And uh, my message was this week we're doing it all the right way. Everybody's got to be all in or 
There'll be more people not playing. When you're building a program, the foundation has to be strong. I'm sure that's what you're trying to do here, Coach. You know, at the beginning of the season, there's a lot of folks out there who would have taken 5-5 five and five going into the big game. I know you don't look at it that way. Do you get the sense that the three big wins at the beginning of the season set the bar a little higher than it might might have been? Not at all. You know, it's uh, you know, it's an 11-game season. You got to battle through. Uh, you know, we fought some injuries. Andrew didn't even practice at all this week and was basically just tried to hobble around yesterday and Friday's practices, as you well know, not much anything. So you got to give him credit going out there and, you know, and, and driving us down that last drive. You know, Zach was a warrior out there. That shoulder was hurting early on, uh, took a lot of hits, and, and the young man is under a lot of emotional pressure right now because he's going to be taken immediately from this game and driven down the Reading uh, to the hospital where his father's in intensive care. Coach, uh, you know, I know you're hurting right now, but there's a big old Band-Aid waiting seven days from now uh, back on campus. Uh, give us your thoughts as you head into the big one. Well, we got to get, you know, we have a lot of work to do and, uh, you know, to go and play. Uh, I don't even know. They, they obviously where they were winning. They beat Colgate. Oh, I don't know. Whatever happened, doesn't matter. They're, they're a championship caliber team and a playoff team, and we will have to play beyond, beyond, obviously, and, and our best game of the year. You know, my concerns right now are, you know, pulling this team together and having the guys stand up and take responsibility and accountability for their actions and it's just very disappointing uh, you know again when you're disappointing seniors in the night before game 10 and a game where we're trying to come in here and get a winning season for our seniors. The teaching and learning doesn't stop in the classroom coach I know you'll get it done good luck next week. Thanks John. Turn our attention to Mike Bowles, Mike, from your linebacker spot. Uh, obviously, I mean, the kid, uh, 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 the running back, uh, Clarence Kuntz, was 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 a, was a handful. Yeah, uh, we knew came coming in here, he had averaged uh, 100 yards a game six times in a row, so we knew that was going to be a handful. He's a little faster than we thought, and uh, we just gave up that big play on that first drive, and uh, we turned it around in the, in the second half, but. Still not good enough to win. Uh, you know, small school, we're family here. Uh, I don't want you to give away any family secrets, but give us your thoughts. Uh, you heard Coach. You heard his concerns uh, as a leader, as a linebacker going into next week. Uh, you know, what's the state of the team, and can you guys pull it together in time for Lehigh? Uh, yeah, I definitely think we can pull it together. You know, we're still a team. We're still a family. Like we said, fast. Family always sticks together. But, you know, we got to stop uh, doing all these bad things that keep killing us in the game and off the field and everything. So uh, I still feel very hopeful coming into the game we definitely can be Lehigh and you know we're definitely gonna give it all our all. Hey, Michael I, I've been here a long time you've been here long enough to know that uh, a win over Lehigh uh, is like a big uh, huge uh, uh, cure for a lot of ills. Mm -hmm. Yeah we're all uh, looking forward to it and you know if we win you know that'll make our season so. Terrific Michael good luck going into next week. Uh, turn our attention to uh, uh, you know, Michael you, you, you had a, a, a a, a huge day today and uh, five catches 124 yards uh, you know uh, but just the, the, the turnovers seem to really take the wind out of your sails yeah I mean there are a couple more plays I should have made and I'm just really focused on Lehigh now I'm not even thinking about it anymore tell us uh, take us through the, the first one where you, you fake the option and and the uh, the backers seem to completely bite on it you were so wide open you could have, could have fair caught uh, that uh, that that catch but uh, tell us uh, take us through that play yeah, um, they play, play a lot of quarters, and they play really down on the run, or aggressive on the run, so we just hit them over the top with some play action. So worked. Well, Good luck this week. I know it's a big one going into Lehigh. Congratulations on a great game today. Thank you. Michael Gary, uh, a disappointing loss uh, here in the Bronx, but, uh, you know, uh, it's officially Lehigh week. So, Michael, Joseph, you know what that's all about. I'm sure this team will regroup and give it a good shot next week. Back to you guys. Right now, I think we just find ourselves uh, praying for the Zweizik family and for Jonathan Zweizik and certainly uh, for Zach and uh, his mother, Sandra. So we hope that is good news by the time we chat with you next Saturday afternoon at 1 o'clock when Lafayette Lehigh, 148th edition, will be happy to bring it your way. Ricky O doing a spectacular job today as our director. My thanks to Mike Joseph, John Leone, the RCN television crew, and to all of you for spending time with all of us. For all of us, I'm Gary Laubach. Goodbye, everybody.